overview we've been waiting for a mid-engined Chevrolet Corvette for what seems like an eternity, and it's finally here in the form of the all-new 2020 model. It kicks off the 8th generation. Engine, ride, and handling Although the engine is in a new location now behind the passenger compartment instead of in front of it it remains a 6.2-liter V8, albeit one making 495 horsepower. An 8-speed dual-clutch automatic Corvette first, is the sole transmission. It is controlled either by a push-button gear selector on the center console or by using two large steering wheel-mounted shift paddles. There will not be a manual transmission. Chevrolet claims the Corvette will have a 0 to 60 mph time of less than 3.0 seconds when equipped with the Z51 performance package. Even in base form, we expect the new Corvette to be capable of heroic handing and to deliver big thrills on both road and track. Interior and technology The new Corvette's interior remains a two-seat layout but the cabin is moved up closer to the car's nose to accommodate the mid-mounted engine. The interior is lined in materials such as leather, real metal, and imitation suede and even has a stitched headliner. Speaking of the roof, it's removable like that of previous Corvettes and it fits inside the car's trunk just aft of the engine compartment. The rear trunk also can accommodate two golf club bags, a front trunk offers space for luggage or cargo while the roof is stowed. Corvette has never been about just speed. This two-seat rocket also boasts 12.6 cubic feet of total cargo space in front and back, so not as much as the last-gen model, but still a respectable figure. Just as the automaker did with the C7, the C8 is said to feature a more upscale interior, and, we'll admit, it's impressive upon first glance. But that was also true for our long-term C7 Corvette, a car we drove for a year and had a few issues with. Corvette is now a mid-engine supercar. For the C8 generation, the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette makes its debut with a mid-engine layout, completely changing its approach. The car is still powered by a naturally aspirated V8, in this case a 6.2-liter V8. And even...